guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing all right and staying safe this is like my fifth time trying to film this video it's been very hard emotional and i just can't control my tears um so i had another idea for this video for, well for today's video um i wanted to put more energy into it but i feel like this week has been so rough for all of us if not most of us and i don't feel like it's fair if i did that video with energy so um if i keep looking down i'm sorry i've got like this notebook i put some um notes in here i want to make sure that i don't miss out on anything okay so as as we know it's um it's been rough of um what's been happening lately and it's so disgusting to see you know these videos online these people saying bad things about it it's been pretty hard and disgusting to be honest i feel like i'm going to say disgusting throughout this video because that's the only word i can describe of what's going on okay so how where can i start from so okay um the video when i saw the video of uh, floyd's death it i had no words for it as soon as i saw oh my god am i crying <laughs> again as soon as i saw a white guy killing a black guy in my head racism i showed it to my parents racism and especially if it's in America. It's, this is not the first time it's happened and it's disgusting how it doesn't stop. We, I can I can say something, okay? I can be like, I want my voice to be heard. My voice will never be heard. It will never. I can, I can make this whole video trying to inspire people to change their views on the black lives, but we just feel like it doesn't matter. Like whatever we do, it's never gonna change anything. But after the, this week's video, I can't remember if it happened last week or this week, but there's, we feel like we want to do something about it, you know, a change. This can't just carry on. Like you can't just see it. Like it doesn't matter what race it is. It's just not right. Okay, he can do something so bad, but he doesn't deserve to die. I'm a I'm a Christian, and some of you might know. And when I was about 12, 13, I stopped going to church. I I was hanging around the the wrong people. I mean, I was going to church like here and then, but it didn't mean anything to me. I do admit that. I didn't believe in God. I didn't know who God was anymore. It was out. I grew up being a Christian. My parents have always been Christians. And when I started, when I started going to church and really believing and really listening, you know, joining youth clubs, then I my, my mind just changed. And you know, God made us equal. Okay, if you're a Christian, then you believe that we're all equal. We shouldn't be treated differently from anyone, just because you know. Um, that can be white and this person can be black I mean sorry the other way around I can be black and this person can be white doesn't mean you can kill me you know no no the race our skin color shouldn't matter so I've been classed white a lot just because of my skin color and people when people see my curly hair that's when they realize oh no it's like yeah I've black in you and for me it doesn't mean anything um so my parents obviously were born um in Africa, so I've, I've grown up with knowing some of the black culture, you know, I've asked them about racism, I've asked them about my grandparents' racism, It's it was disgusting when I heard those stories, um, and I wish I could share them to you, but yeah. So when, as, as I mentioned in my q and I I grew up in Portugal, um, I came here at the age of 12, I think, um, and when I was there, I was in a classroom where there was no black people. There was nothing, so I never knew what, what what a black person was, what a white person was, what a Chinese person was, what an Indian person was, because that that didn't really what, that wasn't mentioned in school. I didn't grow up knowing those cultures. It was just about Portugal, and that was it. I came here in year six, and that's when I I think I was from year seven in history. I started learning about different cultures, and I started me meeting different people. You know, I, I met Chinese people, I met every type of race. And that didn't mean anything to me. That didn't mean like, oh, just because you're black, I'm not gonna hang around with you. Like that didn't mean anything to me. Um, I so I came here and then I started knowing about everything. And then I just thought, okay, like if, just because I'm seeing a black person walking down the street, doesn't mean I'm gonna say something to him or treat him differently because he's not the same color as me. As some of you know, my mom. I think my mom's lighter than me, but my dad, my dad's darker than me, and. It doesn't mean anything to me. I can have a white mom and a black dad, and who cares? In this situation, obviously, my mom's not white, but yeah. And it's just so disgusting how when I started learning about these different cultures and what's, what's going on in America. Anyway, so 
Blackout Tuesday came. That day I was out. I had no idea Black Blackout Tuesday was a thing. I wasn't on my phone. As I mentioned in my Q&A, I moved houses. I've got other things to worry about uh, and instead of being on my phone. So I wasn't on my phone on that day. And then I posted, I think I posted on Instagram and on Snapchat, just something about me. And then I got approached and then I was asked, oh, why are you posting yourself? And I was like, oh, what's happening? And then that's when she explained to me and this when I went on Instagram and started seeing all these black screens. From then I deleted everything. And I was I was shocked. I was like, okay, I feel bad. Like, what should I do? Like, do you know what I mean? And one thing I've learned is that just because I'm putting a black screen on my social media, yes, it means that I'm supporting, but a lot of people just put black screens just for so other people think, okay, yeah, they're supporting it. You should do more. I feel like I'm gonna leave some links down in my description, or probably like ways to where you can help, you know, the, the manifestation and the protest that's been going on. So I just wanna kind of reflect on what's going on and why this is so important. So Black Lives Matters, um, the BLM, sorry, BLM, oh my God, sorry, the BLM movement that's currently going on is to reflect on what actually matters. Um, and that color of my skin shouldn't be able to reflect, like say who, like what kind of person I am. Just because you see a black person doing something wrong, every, everyone has mistakes. Just because you see a black person doing something wrong, you don't just think, okay, every black person's like this. Just because you see a Chinese person doing something wrong, okay, every, every Chinese person is like this. It doesn't work like that. Just because I'm light-skinned doesn't mean, you know, and I do something wrong. It doesn't mean that every, like, every light-skinned person is different. And it's it's about, like, we all equal. We, we all deserve the same rights. And that's one thing that broke me when I saw that video. There was no rights. Oh, my God, that's not right. When I talk about death, or when I hear death, I don't like it. I'm scared of death, okay? And I'm not saying that because I'm a Christian or anything. I'm scared of death. I like sometimes I just go to bed and kind of reflect, like, oh, what can I do without my mom? What can I do without my dad? You know, like I see people losing family members every single day, and I still have my grandparents. Yes, I've had family members who have passed in the past, um, but not like they were they were not that close to me, so it never like broke me. If that makes sense. Now let's say I've got, I still got my old grandparents alive. I should say I lost one. Um, I don't know what I will do. Like I, I don't know if I will be like silent. If I will just, I, had, I have no idea. I've never been through that experience. I see people losing grandparents every day. I see people losing their parents every day. I see people losing aunties, uncles. But I've been through that experience. But that person was never that close to me, so it never really hurt. Like obviously, it hurt me knowing that I lost a family member. But I, I never really like felt that big type of way like I, I, I didn't cry I never cried for something like this um, so seeing you know that video it just there was no respect there was no respect on that video there's people saying that it was an accident people saying that he did it because he meant it, it he meant it he meant to do that that was totally racism and I am so against that so so against racism and it's disgusting how people treat the world nowadays and like i said do more just just putting a black screen on your social media apply make sure you sign up for petitions do more donate do more yesterday i think it was two days ago after yesterday i saw this video where the mom of george's floyd child was it broke me like like you lose a person that's so close to you and you can't talk it's tears after tears after tears after tears after tears after tears after tears there's no words and when I've got like I've, I've, I've had obviously close friends who lost family members and I try to be there for them but I don't know how it feels and I admit that to them I, I never I don't know how losing a close person feels that, has, that has, I've never been through that experience so I have no idea how they feel I try to be there like, as much as I can but they they know that I don't know how it feels and I just think that this generation is just being so disgusting when people don't do anything about it. There's no rights anymore. There's no rights. Like every race just has like a, a bad name on it and it just shouldn't be right. Um, I just, I don't know what to say. Like it's disgusting. It's disgusting, it's disgusting, it's disgusting. How people just think they can kill other people. Like he had a life. 
you know, he had a motivate. he had his motivations, he wanted to be something in life, everyone does, and just because he, he was black, he didn't deserve that, you know, even if it was like a black person killing a white person, no one deserves that, you shouldn't be killing anyone in the first place, just because, oh yeah, I'm a police officer, I'm gonna go ahead and do whatever I want, it doesn't work like that, I don't wish death on anyone, but I really do wish that something bad really happens to him, I have a prison for life, or something, because there's people coming after him, there's gonna be people coming after his family, uh, bad things are gonna happen. What else can I do? Um, so, I so from what I, what my research was, I saw that he was on the floor for about eight minutes and forty six seconds. Oh god, my lighting. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah. So I'm not really sure what's what's gonna happen. I've already done my research on what's gonna happen to the police officer. I've just seen his George's death going all over social media. I haven't really did my research properly. Um, I've just obviously, you know, I've signed for so many petitions, I've done so much and I can't, obviously I can't go to protest myself, I've just moved into a whole area where I don't know anything about, I, I don't have it, obviously just my family, we haven't met anyone, only neighbours, I don't know anything and I wish that there was something I could do more, so I just thought, okay, what can I do more than just a black screen? Petitions, petitions, um, donations, everything that you can do, just do it because just putting a black screen yes it does say that you're supporting but just do a bit more especially like just like to show that you're proud of of who you are and make sure that you know you're supporting this race because it it's been i don't know what to say anymore it's it's been hard you know dealing with these situations and racism it's something that should just stop and our voices should be heard more i don't i particularly i don't think i've ever been for any type of racism um i don't think i have i do not remember i've always been treated fine um not just because you've got you know uh, i've got black in me doesn't mean i'm going to be treated differently i've never been through that experience and i kind of wish i met people that went through racism i kind of want to hear their story and how they went through it because it happens all the time but we just don't see it we hear it but we don't see it um what else can i talk about so yeah so my last point is how can we bring the change into what's going on like i said do something just more like than posting on social media that black lives matter because we don't know who the person is posting that post it could be someone that just wants to be like oh yeah like i'm supporting but they're not really supporting do do something more about it um like I said, sign for petitions, donate, do do something. And we need to make sure that we all together in this and not just some people just don't care and others do. We all need to care. And not just because, not just because of life, I'm sorry, not just because of black lives, but every single life, you know, every single life matters. God made us all. We, we all, like, we all should be united. We shouldn't be separated and think whatever we want to think and yeah i have no words like I, i'm struggling to do this video because like i said i don't like talking about death and just seeing these type of things on the internet is not nice you know you know hearing hearing his voice saying i can't breathe and i feel like he, he called for his mom or something he don't do that type of thing like if that was to ever happen to my family member i don't know how i would feel like i'd go miles to make sure that that police officer did something like just he needs to reflect on what he did he knew what he was doing he clearly knew what he was doing and he just thought okay like nothing's gonna happen to me all right cool something is clearly gonna happen to you you don't know the reasons obviously i'm not gonna go all out but for those who know why he why george got arrested in the first place there could have been like such a, a reason behind it like we don't know what happened you we can't just make stories up i feel like i'm waffling but i just don't know what to say anymore because i'm broken hearted there was like not just George, but like every life. I feel like, I don't know how to say her name. I think I wrote it down. Breonna, I don't know how to say her name. Her birthday was like yesterday, I think. And um, people reflected on her life a lot and on her death a lot. Um, so don't, don't just think that because of what happened with George, because it happens to a lot of people. And we, we should do something about it. We, we can't just sit down and just pretend that everything's fine, that the world is fine. Like, it, it's, it's clearly not fine. And it's disgusting how people just don't seem to care. And 
we should make a change. We should really make a change because that death happened the other day. We don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. And only we, we we are the only people who can who can make a change, who can do something about it. Because if we don't do anything now, then other disgusting things are gonna happen in the future. And and I really don't want that to happen. I don't wanna like I'm I'm young, you know. I don't wanna grow up I mean I've already grew up a bit, but like I don't wanna grow up even more into a generation that let me down because they didn't listen. I don't wanna have kids I don't wanna have kids in in a period of time where racism is still going on, where there's police officers, kill, kill, sorry, police officers killing people because they want to, that's not right. That's not right. He didn't do any harm to you. Why would you do harm to him? Just he needs to like reflect that, and and not just for him, but for every other police officer that has done this this crime. It's basically a crime. It doesn't matter if a police officer. He's a police officer, but he's still a human. Just because a police officer, sorry, just because he's a police officer doesn't mean that he's going to be higher than all of us. He's still a human. He's he's like us. He's just got a profession. His profession is not to kill people. His profession is to make sure that the world is doing all right and to stop these crimes and to make sure that we live in a in a world where there's no there's no there's not no, nothing bad going on. He, he, that's what his job is. His job is not to kill other people. And and yeah, I I just don't know what to say anymore. I've cried. I've I've been angry. It's I don't know what to say and I really do hope that from this week and from what's been happening lately people really do start thinking twice before their actions and just just think and think before you do start because it's not nice you know this there's, there's racism going on in schools that's that right schools um jobs everything and not just racism because of the color but because of the language as well especially when you have an accent you know People tend to, I don't know what the word is, you know, my English doesn't come. Disvalue, disvalue people. People tend to disvalue people a lot. Just because my English is bad doesn't mean I can't do the job. My hands do the job, not my mouth. My hands do the job. And we, do, we don't know what his motivation was in his life. We don't know every every person, I'm going to keep putting myself, but every person has a motivation in life. Every person wants to be... Wants to grow up and be something and, and matter. We all matter, not, not just... Not just police officers that matter, we all matter, we all want. You know, I can be white, I can be yellow, I can be purple, I can be pink. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We we all we all should value each other. And it doesn't matter what colour we are, we we all want. We're family basically, you know, if, especially for those Christians that believe in Adam and Eve. We all family, we all came from the same place. We here for a reason. God gave us a reason to live not to kill each other because killing each other like you don't know what the girl the little girl i think she's six four i don't remember his child like apparently she has no idea what's going on but i'm not saying that his death was a good thing but not 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 even not that's not even my point my point is that when something bad happens that's when the world wants to reflect on it that that a death shouldn't happen for you to think otherwise you should already think that you know we, we should treat each other the same um we like you can have someone with a black person a black mom they be, they became one and, and and i had a kid like race shouldn't be a thing you shouldn't just oh because i'm white i'm gonna go out a white person i'm gonna get married a white person don't think like that we all the same just because my skin color is like this doesn't mean i'm different you know it, it, it's disgusting and i feel like more should be done more should be said we should change the world because if we don't, then it's too late. Then more deaths will happen. And not just in America, but everywhere. You know, I've heard that America is, is bad with like, racism and stuff. Why am I crying? <laughs> I really don't like talking about this. Anyways, um, I just hope that one day our voices can be heard. And that there will be something we can do about it. And not just, you know, I'm clicking on Facebook and I'm seeing someone dying. And... Only when someone dies, that's when people wanna like wanna wanna value the world and wanna value people, and it's not fair. It's not fair on us because we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Like I mentioned before, we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So yeah, guys, I feel like I've, I've spoken too much, but I just wanted to get let that out because, and I'm I'm glad I started my YouTube because I just want not just my voice to be heard, but everyone's voices because I'm heartbroken of what's been happening and. 
I just I don't know what to say anymore. But you know, I've grown up. I've grown up. My parents always taught me be friends with everyone. Don't just be friends with that person because of that color. And we should do that too. Especially now, people my age, in five years, six years time, because we're gonna have kids. You're not gonna like you're gonna want your kids to grow up knowing like knowing a new generation you don't want your kids to grow up in this generation because i don't we don't know what's going to happen anymore so please guys do do just think and do more in this situation and don't just think that posting a post is going to is going to make a difference hashtag blackout tuesday is going to make a difference people are going to see that but that's not going to make a difference protest um donate sign for petitions that'll make a difference and you, you're, you're helping the new generation that's going to come and i just hope that his family like i'll be praying over them and they don't deserve any no one deserves to lose a family over racism it's disgusting it's disgusting and more should be done and yeah so anyways guys we we came into this world to be kind to each other they're not rude not mean to each other you know and just just think twice and yeah be kind because a world of our kindness is in the world it's just gonna be that 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 it's gonna be that black atmosphere that that it's just gonna be disgusting and we don't want that we we don't want to grow up in that we don't want to go to school learning about all these things racism we just want to stop this and that it won't happen again and if we carry on, we carry on making a change, this this stuff won't happen again. There'll be more rights, and that's what we deserve. We're humans, we, we have rights. We should have human rights. But yeah, guys, I just hope you guys are staying safe and that this video kind of reflected on some of you. I'm sorry for my crying. I feel like I've cried too much. But I'm a very emotional person. But yeah, guys, I just hope you guys are staying safe and keep keep doing what you're doing. Keep making that change because that's what we need right now. I'm like a mess right now, but yeah, guys, stay safe and see you next Wednesday. Bye.